Now, as you might know, Pioneer Campus has been bought by Gason. This is the same company that owned Trackmaster Caravans. And they wanted to bring to bear all of their know-how when it comes to building off-road vans to make the Pioneer lineup even more capable. And the Pioneer Mitchell Hybrid Camper that we're testing out on the amazing Phillip Island in Victoria is no exception. Let's have a look at some of the main changes to this camper. One of the major upgrades to this camper concerns the suspension. Now they've replaced the old system with the well-known Track 2 independent trailing arm setup. Not only is the Track 2 system lighter, you can adjust the offset to suit your tow vehicle and obviously when you're off-roading that can be really important. Another major change, well they've replaced the old water tank with a polyplastic unit. Now this unit is still really strong, but it is many, many kilos lighter than the old water tank. Can I just say there's heaps of storage up the front of this camper. Big compartments so that you can gather your firewood on your way to your campsite. You know, all the over center catches that secure all the compartment lids seem really strong. I think this camper comes together really well. Now it's only an 80 watt solar panel that comes as standard with the Mitchell, but you know, pack yourself an extra portable solar panel, plug it into the merit plug, and you'll be fine. So we're sitting on about 100 kilometres an hour in fifth gear on the South Gippsland Highway in Victoria. Towing wise, no dramas whatsoever, it's just tracking nice and true and steady behind our vehicle. As far as tow vehicle goes, just about any mid-range four-wheel drive will do the job nicely. Your Prados, your Pajeros and our MUX is doing a great job. Now the Pioneer Mitchell is a pretty good hybrid camper to begin with, but the crew from Gason have brought their experience and expertise to make it even better for real off-road work. And even some of the small things, such as colour matching the pod at the back of the camper. That white certainly is an improvement over the old black. It's all been about refining the camper and I think we can see they've done a really good job. Nothing left to do but to hitch up and get out of here because that sky is starting to get a bit grey.